at DarkerCon 2017 at the Cavern booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at Docker? So Cavern is a Silicon Valley startup company. It's four years old. So we have been in the IT infrastructure security uh, you know, uh, business. Uh, so we have a platform that is capable of uh, identifying the various configurations that contribute to the attack surfaces of the infrastructure across uh, multiple clouds, public clouds, hybrid cloud, as well as uh, you know, private data center and uh, assess those configurations uh, uh, against the rich set of security benchmarks to come up with the risk assessment and the score and the remediation guidance. So that's the primary uh, feature set in the platform. So uh, we have started working on Docker uh, a little less than a year ago. And so um, on the Docker security side, you know, we have two different ways of approaching the Docker security problem. And the first one being you know, uh, security assessment against uh, Docker hosts, as well as the Docker daemon, uh, against some of the configurations uh, that will contribute to the security issues, and then run them against the CIS security benchmarks, uh, the current version being one, version 1.13, uh, for a, for a, to get a overall score and then you know, uh, identify the policies that actually failed and then provide some remediation guidance. Uh, so it just so happens that you know, our security engineering team uh, is the primary author of the CIS security benchmarks, so we have a good, good amount of credibility on that uh, domain. The second aspect of Docker security is around uh, uh, Docker security image scanning. Um, so somewhere recently there was a study which basically said that you know uh, close to about one third of uh, images uh, you know, that are available in uh, uh, public uh, registries, uh, container registries, happen to have serious vulnerabilities. And when you just build an application by composing those images, uh, uh, pull from those registries, chances are that you know, the application itself has some serious vulnerabilities. So uh, the way it is to just uh, uh, take care of this problem is use uh, Cavern's uh, 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 image security scanning feature with which we assess the vulnerabilities uh, available in each one of those images and then provide a way uh, to just uh, remediate those so that you will uh, have uh, uh, a clear, uh, uh, secure uh, image even before it's in production. And uh, we have, through a, a very clever J Jenkins plugin model, so we can actually make this uh, uh, security image assessment as a part of the CI/CD pipeline, so that you know uh, when uh, uh, security can be an acceptance criteria uh, to make a decision to promote an application from dev to QA to QA staging and staging to production. Great. And do you have a demo that we could take a look at? Yes. So we have a demo. Um, so in fact, I would like to invite uh, our product manager uh, here to just you know uh, show a demo of the product. So I'm actually available for any question that may come up. So what are you going to show us? I'm going to demonstrate uh, to scan a Docker image vulnerabilities with the Pulsar platform. OK, great. So I go ahead and uh, I go to the discover and test. And then I select Docker images. And so I can uh, add the Debian container and then go to the next step where I can uh, select uh, the policy pack. So these policy packs which are available, uh, the hardening policy pack and then uh, the vulnerabilities policy pack are available and so we can look what are the actual policies which we can run. And so uh, there is also we can look on each one and uh, uh, what are the titles, what are the remediation, and, and, then, uh, and then after selecting uh, the policy pack, we can go ahead and uh, scan it. And we can uh, go ahead so that it has started and it's running, it takes some time. And then, then we can uh, go ahead and uh, see the reports. And here we see the test result for this uh, Redis container. And the score is 97. We can go ahead and uh, see the report. Uh, so, okay, the score is 97. We can uh, see daily uh, score overview and the actual policy. So we can then go ahead and uh, filter for fails and then we can go ahead and uh, we can try to find the high ones which need to be fixed first. 
and then uh, finally the uh, mediums and, and so on. And this is pretty much the demonstration. So you can kind of prioritize which ones uh, you take, take care of first? Yeah, that's right. So we can uh, filter which are the high severity and which are failures and the passes and start fixing from there. We'll be demonstrating the, how we use Docker CIS 1.13 benchmark. We target against a Docker host. We basically go discover a Docker host, which could be in a cloud or an on-prem device. We can either give cloud, cloud credentials or also we can also give the IP range, where we go in, discover all the resources, and also do a Docker host discovery, get the container information, image information, and then we apply our Docker CIS 1.13 benchmark against those. So in the interest of time, we have already targeted it. We have a group, if we see, uh, let's just quickly click on an edit. We have these credentials, we have uh, targeted against a region, we have specified the access key secret key, and we have a credential that we need to set up so that we can go and do a deep discovery on those individual instances on the cloud account. So we just need to click on scan and we can generate a report. Uh, in the interest of time, I'll just go ahead and show the report that is already generated. So once we click on scan, we would be coming to this report page. And let's go quickly over this particular report. And uh, this is the report here, Docker CIS 1.13 benchmark. These are the resources that we see. Let's click on one of these resources. And uh, let's go to the all control panels. We have total of 83 policies that we have targeted against. Again, we can filter it based on pass, fail. And uh, when we go to fail, let's see, when we highlight one of this, we see what what is the audit that was done for this policy and what are the remediation steps. So every one of these rules, we have a detailed list of what audit and what remediation can be done to pass that particular policy.